It's that time of the week again. Time for the NBA Rapid Fire, brought to you by Picks and Parlays. The promo code for this week is LOVE. L-O-V-E will save you 20% off the entire site. My name's Allie Burns, and I've got Craig Trapp here with me today to talk some NBA. What's going on, Craig? Hey, post-Super Bowl, so now the NBA, uh, the light is shining bright on the NBA now, and uh, I'm pretty excited. We have basically a month, a little more than a month and a week before we get to March Madness, and this is the time hoops take center stage. My very favorite time of the year. All right, so I got five uh, five games for you. We're going to try to do them in under five minutes. You ready to rapid fire away? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to start out with the Spurs at the Hawks. The Hawks are the favorite minus two. The total's 228 and a half. Get it. I'm, I, you know, I'm really disappointed in this Atlanta team. I th- kind of thought Atlanta took a small step for it last year, and I thought this year they would take a giant step forward. But we just haven't seen that. It hasn't been the case. Just 11-13 and 13 on the year and 13-11 against the spread. And I think it's, once again, the Western Conference is stronger than the Eastern Conference. So I think a 14-11 Spurs team should probably be the favorite here. So I'm going to take the Spurs plus two here. I mean, they've been good on the road, both 7-3 and three straight up and against the spread. I think the wrong team's favored. Let's take the Spurs. I think they went out right. All right, one down. We're talking Pelicans at the Mavericks. Mavericks are minus two. The total's 233 and a half. Well, the Mavericks, another disappointing team. I mean, uh, after the bubble format uh, last year and you saw Luka had an amazing uh, run down the stretch, you kind of thought this Dallas team would be top four or five teams in the West. Hasn't been that case. 12 and 14 on the year. And here's the the note that you need to know. They're just four and six straight up in their last 10 and one and nine against the spread. Give me the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans at least is six and four straight up and against the spread in their last uh, 10 games. I just think this Mavs team going to probably have to make some trades if they're going to get back in this game, uh, in this uh, race in the Western Conference. Yes, I agree. All right, so Clippers are at the Bulls. Clippers are the favorite, minus six and a half on the road. The total's 228 even. You know, no Paul George. Uh, they, he wasn't there uh, in, in Minnesota, and he's going to miss this uh, game as well. That's big news because, you know, everybody in the NBA needs, uh, you know, you need that the big two or the big three, as a lot of now. And now they're going to the big one. And I think that's going to be a problem here. As much as the Chicago Bulls have let me down in recent weeks, I mean, they had been pretty good against the spread uh, to start the year. But recently, they're just four and six in the last 10. But same with the Clippers. So uh, give me the Bulls here, plus six and a half. I just think the uh, no Paul George is going to be too much for the Clippers to win by more than uh, six. So I like the Bulls and the points. I like it too. Now we're talking Bucks at the Jazz. I've got Utah minus a point and a half. 233 and a half is our total. (laughs) Yeah, game of the night for sure in the NBA. I mean, the hottest team in the NBA is this Utah Jazz team. Um, I mean, the best record in basketball right now. And they face a Bucks team that's been hot as of late, going uh, winning seven of their last ten games. But the Bucks are coming off a loss at Phoenix when they were up most of that game, and then Phoenix came back and 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 beat them. Um, I, I just think the Jazz are the better team at this point. I don't see a whole lot of weaknesses with the Jazz. You know, Mike Conley has missed the last few games, and they still are getting it done. Even when Donovan Mitchell was out, I believe he was out three games, they won two of those three. It's just like they have so much depth. They shoot it well. They are great on the defensive end like they have been for the last two or three years. Coach Schneider has been better than advertised as a coach. I don't think there's much weaknesses here. I think there's obvious weakness on the Bucks team. We've seen that the last few postseasons. I like the Jazz minus the one and a half. I think this point spread is an absolute gift. All right, we've got one to go. It's the Cavs at the Trailblazers. Portland minus four and a half, 222 is the number. Well, that loss at the Denver Nuggets last time out was, it was never close. I mean, into the first quarter, it was our, the game was basically over. Uh, Cleveland's just been terrible on the road, three and nine straight up and three and nine against the spread. Um, so I definitely would be thinking Portland. But, you know, I, when you see a Cavs game, I always think over because they love to push the pace. They shoot a ton of uh, a deep threes. You just it, it forces the pace the other way, and I just think this one's going to go way over. Uh, so I like Portland and the over. Probably the stronger play would be the over 222 in this one. All right, there you have it, people at home. Your free NBA rapid-fire picks from Craig Trapp and Picks and Parlays. Bet, win, repeat.